Hi everyone, Mac here from Minard's Leisure World. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2020 Open Range 427 BHS. Now this is the Open Range. This is their top tier product line. This is a full width, full profile, luxury fifth wheel. Of course, this is a bunkhouse model. You're going to need quite a big truck to tow this, but it's going to be just as comfortable in a seasonal site as it is on the road, so long as you have the power for it. Let's talk about some of the features of this trailer and why I love open range so much. Well, starting at the front, we have a big, beautiful molded front fiberglass nose cap finished with some automotive paint, the grays and the blacks, very beautiful and it's gonna last a long time. Our basement storage up front there is also very open. You can fit a ton of gear in there and it seals up quite well too. Not a ton of dust is gonna get in there. While we're at the front, I wanna take the opportunity to also mention our JT Strong Arm stabilization system for all of our jack legs. Now this is a, a factory option on this model. Um, to buy this system aftermarket is not cheap, but it makes a huge difference on the trailer. It really stabilizes things, stops that wiggle and jiggle uh, as people move around inside the coach. Should also mention that we are solar panel prepped. This is a standard SAE plug, so just about any panel is going to work with that. I should also mention that this coach comes with 60 pounds of propane, although they are in the 20 pound bottles. So that makes it very easy for you to fill and replace these tanks. It's a low cost solution and you get just as much as dual 30s. So smart design and it saves you storage space. So this is a drop frame design fifth wheel, which means we get a very large baggage compartment. You could use that as a guest room if you wanted, but they finished it off really nicely with the linoleum on the floor. You can see our battery disconnect over there. Now on the other side of that pass-through compartment, we also have controls for our fully electric auto level system. You hit the button, the trailer levels itself. It doesn't get any easier than that. It also remembers what height you disconnected at and makes it very simple to reconnect your truck to the fifth wheel and hit the road again. Now right beside that is our water convenience or water manifold center. Tons of hookups all in one location and you're able to do whatever you want from this system. You can winterize, you can fill your tanks, you can bypass your water heater. There's a hot and cold outdoor shower, black tank flushes for both black tanks on this coach. And you'll also see that all of our gate valve pulls are a remote pull style. That means the gate valve itself is in the heated insulated underbelly. That's right, this is a full-time extended stay fifth wheel. It's very well insulated and that heated underbelly keeps everything thawed out for you. Now, a few more things to mention on the camp side before we get to the very back. This is a dual awning setup on this coach, both 12 volt power awnings with LED lights. Uh, we do have outdoor speakers on this coach so you can keep the party going all night long. I should also mention by our entry door, there is an external propane hookup. If you have some sort of auxiliary item you'd like to connect, maybe one of those propane fire pits or a cooktop. Leading to our entry door, we have upgraded entry handles for this year. Really cool design. They're very rugged, very tough, aluminum handle and a poly surround, um, but really separates the product from anything else out there. Solid steps are coming back again this year and we're happier than ever with them. They're just like the name suggests, very sturdy and no more bounce to the coach and they actually ride inside the coach while you're driving down the road so they're not gonna get full of gunk. Uh, last thing I should mention while we're on the campsite is that we do have frameless windows on this model. So again, it's gonna separate this product, show you that it is a more premium trailer um, those automotive grade glass windows do offer an extra R value for insulation and we find they don't fog up as badly if you're doing uh, early spring or late fall camping. Like I said, this is an extended stay, so mild winter conditions are okay for that as well. So I've already mentioned the second awning on this coach. This one actually traverses over top of the second entry door, which goes into the second bathroom, as well as our outdoor kitchen, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So this is really convenient to be able to get into your guest bathroom. That way your guests aren't going to have to go through the whole coach, you know, take their shoes off or leave mud trail all throughout. Um, they can simply come in, use the bathroom and join you back at the fire. 
Last but not least on our campsite is this fantastic layout for the outdoor kitchen. Uh, this version is just the best I've seen so far. So obviously we have a nice large outdoor fridge and we don't have to keep going in and out of the coach to get a cool drink. Underneath that is a small storage drawer, hardwood front, lumber core construction, just like all the cabinetry inside. You'll also notice this powder coated steel drawer um, that carries a griddle top. This is a griddle top here. It runs on propane, the actual propane on board your coach. Um, so you don't have to worry about bringing an extra bottle with you, but it does have a built-in grease trap and you can remove this and place anything you'd like on top of here that would fit. Um, it's quite a neat system, heavy cast iron, so it's very durable, um, but you can do bacon, you can do eggs, you can do pancakes, whatever you'd like to do on here, you can. Um, burgers are great on here too. And we also have a built-in hot and cold tap for our outdoor sink, very convenient if you have kids in the campsite getting all sticky from the s'mores. Up top, there is some storage in behind this cabinet, as well as a power source. But what this is for is actually mounting a TV. So you can have an outdoor entertainment system going here in your outdoor kitchen. It's got it all. Really quickly, before we head inside the coach, we're gonna cover the rear here as well. You get a good view of those frameless windows. As for features back here, we are pre-wired for the backup camera system, and you can get that aftermarket. It's simple plug and play. I think it's the most user-friendly out there. Uh, we also have a permanently mounted rear ladder so you can get up on the roof. That roof is fully walkable, as well as all of your slide-out roofs too. It's a very well-constructed trailer, so don't hesitate to walk around up there. Underneath, you'll see a two-inch accessory hitch this is not meant for towing, it is meant for accessories. So a bike rack, a cargo basket, something like that, you can easily slip on there and uh, you're gonna be able to increase your, your capacity. Okay. So we just stepped foot inside the open range. Uh, this is going to be our main living and kitchen area. Let's talk about what's in here. So right as I walk in, there's an overhead cabinet with four cabinet doors. So lots of good storage in there. You'll also see a few controls to my right here. This is going to be for our heating and cooling system. It's a fully electronic thermostat, super easy to use. We have uh, some main light switches here as well, which makes it easy to see when you first walk in. They're large too, so easy to find in the dark. And below that is a small panel for our upgraded fan system. Now that upgraded fan is really cool. It's going to be rain sensing. It also has a high capacity output. So it's really gonna get the air moving in this coach and cool it off if you need a little extra help in the summer. Right in front of me, we have a couple of residential style recliner chairs, really nicely finished. Um, this new vinyl material is durable, but soft. Um, they really are a residential quality chair. So super comfy spot for you and uh, and the missus if you please. Um, coming into the kitchen here, you'll see it is an island kitchen. This is due to the opposing slides in this main living area. All of our countertops are a solid surface countertop. This is a material very similar to Corian. Um, so it's super durable, very hard and scratch resistant. Now in the center, you'll see we have a residential faucet with dual spray function and an undermounted stainless steel sink. As for storage of the island, we do have a whole bank of drawers here. There's about three as well as storage underneath the sink and uh, a second drawer up here and a, another cabinet door underneath. Looking at our campsite slide out, this is a very shallow slide, so it doesn't eat up a lot of your campsite space, which is really nice, but it offers the use of full size appliances. You'll see this 18 cubic foot nor cold two way refrigerator this is the biggest RV refrigerator out there and it's finished in beautiful stainless steel. So you can run this on propane and electric. You see the large fridge compartment underneath and then the large freezer compartment up above. So beautiful job on that. It really ties this kitchen together. Beside that is a large residential stainless steel microwave. And this is a convection microwave. Um, these are really handy in the campground. If you need to cook up some veggies or something fast, these are perfect for that. So we have a cast iron grate covering over top of our four multi-sized burners, um, auto igniting, and we even have a full-sized oven. Look at that. 
That is the biggest oven I've seen in any RV ever. So you can do some proper cooking. You don't have to use it just as a bread box anymore. Beside that is a really neat compartment. I call this the spice rack, and that's probably what it's intended for, but it brings everything out to you and makes good use of otherwise dead space. So just opposite of our camp side slide is our non-camp slide. This is the driver's side of the coach and one of our main living slide outs. You'll see this coach features the King U option, and this is a really popular option from open range. Customers love this because it gives enough room for the whole family. You have the options of these tables, which will actually break down and stow away in these compartments on either side of the sofa. Now this sofa is the new style King U, and it actually comes out into a queen size bed, uh, much like a tri-fold sofa. Older generations had an air mattress involved and it was an extra unnecessary step. So these new tri-folds are much easier, much more comfortable, and they're longer lasting. All around in this slide, you'll see plenty of windows and they're all finished with these wonderful soft roller shade blinds. This is a premium option that we're seeing in all of our top tier manufacturers now, and I really love it. They're low maintenance, low noise, and uh, they really finish things off well. You may have also noticed the large bank of overhead cabinets. There really is no shortage of storage anywhere in this coach. And I should also mention that the slide out has its own dedicated light switch for the overhead LEDs. Now next we're gonna talk about our entertainment stand, but before I do, I should mention that there is no carpet anywhere in this coach except for the master bedroom. So I don't feel bad at all about walking through here in my boots um, even our slide outs have linoleum. There is no carpet to worry about whatsoever. They've also put all of their heating ducts in the walls or the island, so you don't have to worry about things falling into the ducts as you clean. Now, our entertainment stand here features a nice large flat screen TV. Underneath that is our sound bar system. We do also have the outdoor speakers, which will play off of our multimedia center right here. And this will play CDs, DVDs, you can stream from your phone via Bluetooth, uh, or you can hook up with a cable. It's an all-in-one system. Underneath that is an electric fireplace, which kicks out 5,000 BTUs of heat. So that's going to keep you nice and comfortable in the off-season. You don't have to worry about burning propane. So we're about to move on to the bunk room of this coach, and this is one of the best features of this floor plan. But I should mention that we do have an actual solid hinged door here. Oftentimes it is a pocket door, but this adds another level to that residential feel. All right, so I've just walked into the coach and you'll see on one of the two slides in this bunk room, we are greeted with a top bunk as well as a bottom jackknife sofa. Now, each bed is going to have their own window that does open to allow for more airflow. They've finished them with a good proper covering that's safe for children. There's no strings to get wrapped up in. So that's something I always watch for. We do have LED reading lights for each occupant. And this top bunk does raise up just a little bit more and locks into place. That way, if you're sitting on the sofa, you have a little more headroom. Now this sofa does break down. Like I said, it's a jackknife style. You can see there is some storage underneath, two drawers to be exact but it simply pops down and you have a nice large bed there. Now right beside me is a ton of storage. This is our wardrobe and a pretty neat feature for this year. You can see the tons of hanging space right here as well as a top hat rack and underneath two more oversized drawers. Drawers make life easier. You can organize things just how you please. So just opposite of the wardrobe, we have a little bit more uh, overhead cabinets here for additional storage. You can put games or toys or anything like that up here. Um, just nice and convenient spot for you. Underneath that, we do have a television uh, backer location. If you bring a mount to us, we are happy to install that for you so you know that it's done right. Now here is uh, another really neat feature. This is a breakdown table. And I know it looks kind of tight with the breakdown bed in the way as well, but I'm gonna show you just how flexible this room can be. So you can use the bed as a bit of seating, and then you only need two additional chairs for the kids back here to do their own thing. But this table does break down really easily. Simply collapse the leg, just a few notches, and this lifts up 
and you can fold it away. So now we have a lot more floor space. The kids have more freedom to move around. And we have two additional beds opposite of the originals. Now on this side, this top bunk is permanently mounted. It does not lift because that's our outdoor kitchen underneath, but it does feature that steel uh, ladder. So if the kids do have trouble getting up and down, maybe this one's better off for them. Another window for ventilation, LED reading lights. And like I said, this bottom bed actually does fold up and out of the way too. And it's quite simple to do. Now I start on this side cause it's a little easier. So you fold one leg in, there's simple brackets here that allows them to fold in as well. And it locks into place and there's a lock for each side, but that does reveal some additional storage for you. A couple of cargo nets to keep things organized. So just off of the bunk room is that guest bathroom that I showed you from outdoors. This is a half bath featuring the foot flush porcelain bowl toilet, as well as a hot and cold sink with storage underneath the vanity up above. There is a mirror. And uh, we also have a 110 volt outlet for power. So we're working our way back up to the front of the coach and we're right by our main entry door. There's a couple features here I want to talk about in the hallway. So up top, we have a small closet here with four hooks to hang sweaters or light coats, that sort of thing. And you may even be able to throw a pair of flip flops on the bottom. As you can see, it's not super deep because we have the bathroom on the other side. Underneath that is our main control panel. And as you can see, it automatically lights up just like that. We have all of our main light switches, slide controls, awning controls, everything all right here for your convenience. All right, so we've just made it upstairs and we're gonna take a look at the master bathroom. So right here beside me is our main vanity. There is storage underneath the sink, hot and cold with a 110 volt outlet, near medicine cabinet with storage behind. And then we also have this really neat feature too. Um, this is almost like a second vanity. So we have a whole bank of drawers going underneath as well as a pull out extension table. So that's pretty cool. And up above another mirrored medicine cabinet with more storage. Now moving on to the shower, you'll see this is a large residential size seated shower. Uh, we've got the triple pane glass doors for wider entry. And uh, there's also a skylight for increased uh, head clearance. And beside that is a foot flush porcelain bowl toilet with a towel hanger up above. So now at the very nose of the coach, we're in the master bedroom. There's just one slide here for the master bed. This is a full queen size bed. It's finished off with a really nice headboard there, um, really ties everything together. And there's a couple of shelves on either side for devices. Now, normally when you get these bed slides, they almost feel like a dungeon, but these guys put in a couple of windows for us. So open range really open it up for you and uh, it doesn't feel so claustrophobic. Behind me here in the nose of the trailer is the master bedrooms closet. And uh, you know how I mentioned the uh, storage underneath could be the guest room? Well, this could be as well. We've got tons of hanging space all the way along and uh, a little cubby up above along with LED lighting so you can see what you're taking in and out. These mirrored doors close it off really nicely. Beside that is a secondary closet. You see that bifold door? It actually leads to your washer dryer prep. Now you don't have to use that. If you choose not to, you have more hanging space, more shelves, and even a doggy bed. So really cool, they tuck it away just there for you. Finishing off the master bedroom, we have TV mounting bracket right here with our hookups up above as well as another window leading to the campsite. And then a bit of a chest here. We've got two more drawers. They're a nice full extension drawer and they latch tightly so things aren't going to be flying everywhere while you tow the coach. And of course there is standard storage underneath the bed. Well, I wanna thank you guys for coming along on this walkthrough of this all new 2020 open range. As you can see, it is a top notch trailer with top notch features. If you're looking for a full profile, full width, full featured uh, extended stay bunk model, this is probably a great option for you. Uh, if you'd like to see more like this model, make sure to check us out online at minorsleisureworld.com. And remember, we have two locations now to serve you better, one here in Weyburn and also in Watcher, Saskatchewan.